the energy vibration um, reading for the Sun moon and rising as um, uh, Sagittarians I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is um, a week of uh, uh, a fire energy and a week of strength which is your week you Sagittarians so whatsoever is happening to you Sagittarius in this week there is a cleansing coming in for you Sagittarius so whatever the situation that has transpired there is a cleansing that is coming in for you for some of you if you have been having a situation with an Aries or a Leo this is going to come to an end because you're protecting yourself and your your um, and your investment from this person okay um, the first and second week is going to be a very very good for the people who are connected with the king of uh, cups the, the Pisces Kansas and scorpion it's going to be a positive week okay so let's see what is happening for you um, for um, the first week um, the week the first week for you men it's going to be a week where there is an ending um, for um, situation that has been happening for you so let's say that you have situation that has been happening there is an ending for you men in the first week the second week another good week you're protecting uh, yourself from things and situations around you whatever this is in the second week you're really protecting yourself from people and situations around you in the third week you have the seven of Pentacles whatever that you have been doing is coming to fruitation so this is good and in the fourth week you have to deal with the energy of a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion but let's see what these energies are going to have to do to deal with us in this week let's look at the first week you have the energy of the eight of cups so whatever the situation is some of you men are going to be deciding to walk away from the situation so uh, some of you whether it is a relationship a job or um, a friendship or whatever we're going to look and see what it is you're deciding to walk away you're going to turn your back and walk away from a situation as we look at the second week and the third week you have the energy of the five of Pentacles and the energy of um, the five of Pentacles is here um, there's another sign that get the energy of the five of Pentacles between um, the second week and the third week so let's see what the third week and the fourth week is bringing up for you the haste of Pentacles okay so this is wonderful oh this is wonderful so again um, this, I see this happening for a lot of people that in the first and second week and that sort of a thing there is situation of hardship and you're protecting yourself and you're fighting off people um, from you and that sort of a thing but in the third and last week money is going to be coming to you because you have the energy of uh, the ace of Pentacles so whatever that was transpiring for you um, the energy of the haze of Pentacles come between the end of the third week and um, the um, fourth week okay so let's see what is happening with what is it that you're um, leaving behind and you're moving towards you have the energy of um, the four of Pentacles you have the energy of the four of Pentacles so in the um, the um, first and second week you're moving away from something and there's a hardship you're feeling hardship but um, the uh, you're going to balance out your financial situation so not to worry because you're going to balance that out as we look and see um, the connection between the five of Pentacles and the ace of Pentacles let's see what is happening you have the energy of uh, the seven of cups in um, the um, third week um, there's a lot of opportunities that is going to be opening up for you in the third week so not to worry about what transpire in the first and second week in the third week a lot of opportunities are going to be opening up for you and this is good so um, 
you are going to see that um, this is why the ace of Pentacles comes out in the third and last week because um, there's opportunities that is going to be opening up for you so let's see what is um, the overall energies of uh, this month um, you um, um, ending a situation with your enemies you're finally finally breaking and ending it's as if you use your hands to remove your um, any enemies from you and the people that were hiding and lurking and trying to break you down or to stop you so um, this is a very good because you are seeing the inner light in a situation you finally seeing something that wasn't there before and the energy of the tower in this month is good because it's cleansing and this is the first month of the year so it's good that um, there is a cleansing that is coming in so let me look at this reading um, in an in-depth form um, what we can see for um, the men the men over 40 you'll be walking away the men over 40 will be walking away from a situation and you are going to bring your financial situation in balance whatever and whoever that was trying to stop you block you you are literally using your hands and like your I'm done with this you know and this is good because what is happening is that you have said to the universe this must stop this must end and you're using your hand and it's as if you're parting and you're saying away um, this has ended you know and um, no more um, this is how far it goes and this is very good because you are standing up now and saying I am NOT going to deal with this anymore and this is extremely good as we look um, for the people who are connected um, there are some people who are going to go into business with someone who is a Pisces cancer of a scorpion scorpion and this man is going to connect with you is as if the universal angels and guides send this man to you you guys are going to make a lot of money because this man is as if uh, um, he um, has the key to open a door and this door that he's going to be opening is going to bring a lot of opportunities in a, a, a really a lot of opportunities in so um, what 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 for some of you um, Sagittarius is and, and this is what you need to understand you're one of the luckiest people on the planet but sometimes the energy that is there for you Sagittarius is that there is you're coming into the month of uh, January thinking about hardship don't do it don't do it just said listen I need to um, certain things in my life and I'm asking um, the angels and guides listen um, uh, this is my situation and I'm asking my angels and guides to help me because most of you Sagittarians are coming in this month um, thinking that you're out in the coal and everything no it's and it, like you're as, uh, having all these scenarios no because the energy of the tower is coming in and the energy of the tower is going to break down this situation it's going to bring it it's going to break down whatever that has been happening and transpiring the energy of the tower is coming in and it's going to break it down and uh, whatever whoever that was coming at you because now you're bringing an end to your enemies you're saying you you people have gone far enough and it stop air this is what you are saying and this is what you're showing you people have gone enough and it stop here because this is where it ends so whatever the situation is and whatever that has been transpiring in your life know that doors of opportunities are going to open at the third week so um, if you're looking for work and you have been 
and you know going and going and going and the third week um, you know you're going to see that you're going to begin something in the third week and money is going to start coming between the third and the fourth week and this is going to be good whatever the situation is or for us you have the energy of the seven of cups the energy of the seven of cups is a positive energy because what is happening is that new opportunities and new possibilities are going to come in for you and whoever that was there trying to block you from whatever situation you're going to break that down because here you are trying to protect yourself to um, from not coming and having financial hardship and this situation is going to open up doors of opportunity because there you're not sitting down and saying oh my god what is this and, and that sort of a thing you're moving you're working with ambition and you're trying to move through that you know it's as if you're going in something that you have no idea but you are still moving through you're still um, coping you're still um, transferring through it and you're still um, moving forward and this is going to be good um, as we look at the zodiac energies these are positive and let's look and see what is happening for the Sun people I see and see what is happening for the Sun people you have the energy um, for the Sun people um, Mars Mars career changes and Uranus and, and, and that's this is why Mars came in for you Sagittarius in this month because what is happening is that they are shaking things up for you they're they're moving away whatever that has been blocking you in 2017 in the first month of 2018 they're moving away so Mars come in for the Sun people so the people who were born in the day you had the energy of Mars and Urania so expect that your career is just going to be changed expect that things are going to be rooted up out of your life that you no longer need and you are going to be happy at the end of the day because um, you are going to have more opportunities coming in your life so let's move on and see the energy of the lunar energies and see for the night people what is going to happen you are going to be working um, with Jupiter Jupiter is bringing luck for the lunar people oh my god this is good Jupiter is bringing luck and the luck that is coming in for the um, these people is with the um, Libran so uh, the Virgos oh my god oh my god um, I think the Capricorn get these two okay so for the lunar people luck a Virgo is going to bring luck in your life um, this Virgo is going to bring a lot of luck in your life so whatever is happening um, there's a Virgo um, you um, people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and uh, um, 12 a.m. Um, the Virgos there's someone a Virgo is going to come in and bring you a lot of luck and success and this is going to be good this is going to be very positive so it's as if this person think oh my god I'm gonna help that person this person have something that can you know make um, a difference and I'm going to help that person so if you're looking for investors and people to help you they are going to be coming in and helping you out I was guided to go back because uh, um, I can see the energy of the tower and uh, um, a lot of you coming in because uh, in this month with the five of Pentacles and I want to ask what is this hardship that is uh, um, this five of Pentacles you need to work uh, with other people and by doing that and uh, it, it's gonna bring rest it, it's gonna be good okay so uh, this is good this is good uh, okay cuz I really need to know because you uh, guys have the energy of the five 
of uh, Pentacles in the middle of your reading you have the energy of the five of Pentacles and what they're saying is that connect with other people try to work with other people and by doing that uh, um, the energy of the magician is going to come in and it's going and that is going to bring you good news and um, good stable balance and good news so this is, is is going to be good so whatever that is transpiring whatever and uh, is uh, this situation whatever uh, that has transpired um, by working with other people um, it's going to bring you a good luck and success so I just wanted to know what that was all about okay uh, so let's look at your last and final energies um, to see because um, whoever you are you're going um, there's someone out there that is going to um, connect with um, the king of cups and the king of cups is going to help you out financially and also going to open up a lot of doors and new opportunities so remember this remember that this is going to happen so let's see what it, oh my gosh isn't this beautiful yes it is this is one of the most beautiful cards in the deck this is like the money card milk and honey this is good so let's see it's like one of the most beautiful cards in the deck um, this this is positive this is good um, the energy of milk and honey comes out which is an extremely positive energy is I love the energy of milk and honey because it's like the card is saying um, you know wonderful things are going to be happening for you and um, milk and honey the taste of prosperity opportunity born of um, our tendency nurturing abundancy trusting that your needs will be met and a uh, you have entered a sweet time in your life. Enjoy the land of milk and honey that everybody wants to experience. It's an indulgence that feels more lavish than ambitious when all your sins are awakened to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only comes when you're in an altar authenticity zone wherein the, the world as a loose garment not wanting yet um, able to be nourished in ways both tangible and substill abundancy is an energy that you are a living part of all your needs are being met you are given the gift of nourishment in every form the message of prosperity there is only one alternative you authenticity is the way to go this version of yourself is spirit a miss in the world when you are in alignment with the truth that you are a unique expression of the divine your soul can rest and your soul can illuminate your purpose now is a time when you seek your true north when you find this direction you automatically step into prosperity and the world begins to bring you back evidence of abundancy miracles are a choice and a way of seeing the world with every choices you make right now you have the potential to seize good fortune embrace your destiny opportunities will lead you to your best life now be open to them you're getting a sweet taste of what you want ladies and gentlemen namaste until next time